And this, you see this, that globes. And this, you see this. What actually scare you the most in the hospital when you say it? Is it a syringe? Or the globes? <laughs> or the stethoscope? What scare you the most in the hospital when you see it? When you see your doctor around, are you scared of is it the globes? Or are you scared of the stethoscope that the doctor is putting on? Or you are scared when you see the syringes? So it's just for, for thought. I understand when we get to the hospital, there are a lot of things. When you start seeing your doctor parading with issues, you're like, hey, come on. Is it for real? So you have a second thought. I know when you go for a pregnancy test, you might be saying, oh, you almost say this, but we have the pregnancy test, meaning this can be taken as well to run your test. So I just hope. It's okay, sis, it's okay. So if you are just joining us, welcome, thank you so much. And for those who are above one key place, if you can share me to your community, I really do appreciate. Thank you so much. So we're going to discuss about when is the right time for you to run a pregnancy test, as well as why some pregnancy tests may show negative, whereas you're actually pregnant. So we're going to discuss about it and try to give some explanations to it. Running a pregnancy test is most likely when you have missed your period and you feel that you're pregnant, but so some ladies that maybe they're trying to conceive, they might have to run their pregnancy test, maybe even before they miss their period. So it is very important you understand why you're running a pregnancy test, not just go and start running the pregnancy test, whereas maybe it is not your time. So if you look at pregnancy, the risk of time that we are expecting your pregnancy to be positive, and if you do a pregnancy test at that time, it might show positive just because of the expectation. But it might show positive just because of the expectation. But because of maybe you were in a haste to do it, and you now see that a oh, common, you are doing it at the wrong time, and you now see that your pregnancy is negative. So your pregnancy being positive or negative will depend on the expectation and if you quite understand exactly what is going on. So it will all depend on a lot of other factors that you are going to learn here. Okay, thank you, thank you. So let us go through and we explain all of this. For you to be pregnant, you need to have intercourse within your fertile window. And if you have intercourse within your fertile window, you will see that an egg will probably be fertilized by a sperm cell. It therefore means a sperm is going to need, a, need an, uh, an egg for fertilization to occur. But if you, have, if you have intercourse out of your fertile window, then it will be difficult for you to be pregnant because probably there will be no egg around. Question is welcome. Thank you so much. Um, Sister Anita, welcome. So if you look at pregnancy, there are ladies that have even complained that they have done a pregnancy test and it shows negative. And after three, four, five months, they realize that they are pregnant. This is scary, especially maybe if you don't want to get pregnant. Just imagine you're avoiding getting pregnant and you, you've done pregnancy tests, it shows negative, and after five months, you're getting, you're seeing that maybe you're, you're seeing your stomach, you're seeing your abdomen growing, only for you to see that you are pregnant five months after. That is really scary. Thank you, Sister Nita. That is really scary. 
So, but you all need to understand why your pregnancy test could be positive and why it could be, it could be negative now, whereas it is positive actually. You all need to understand this. So for you to actually get pregnant, you need to have intercourse within your fertile window. It therefore means that if you have intercourse between the days that you are normally supposed to be fertile, you will be pregnant. And what are those days? Depending on your cycle, if you have intercourse around your ovulation, you will be pregnant. You will be pregnant. And once you once fertilization occur, then you will give some days before you actually run a pregnancy test. You will not just go immediately you run a pregnancy test. I've had a lot of instances where ladies would come and say, oh, can't run a pregnancy test? And I'll ask, when last did you meet? When last did you see your period? And you will realize that some just met maybe three days ago, they want to do a pregnancy test today. They met three days ago, you want to do a pregnancy test today? That is absurd. Okay. So you'll give some time. So it is between seven days, at least seven days from the last time you met. Now we are assuming that you met on day 14. If you met on day 14, for people who are 28 days, then you will see that day 14 was seven. That will be 21. That is on the 21st day of your cycle. If you're 28 days, then we are expecting your period, we are expecting your pregnancy to be positive. But if your cycle is different, you're not 28 days, then maybe you, if you are, let's say 21 days, then you should meet around the seven, the eight like that, your pregnancy, we're expecting it to be positive. So if you meet that early and you want to do your pregnancy test, maybe just three days after, it won't be positive. Why will it not be positive? The issue is not that you are not pregnant. No, no. You are pregnant actually, but for the strip to show positive, it needs some level of surge. The SCG hormone that is being tested for need a, a surge level. That is, there is a certain quantity of the hormone that has to be there for it to show positive on your strip. So for you to have a positive pregnancy, you need some level of that hormone. That is why you will show negative at that time whereas you are, you are positive, whereas you are pregnant. So if you do it that early, it will show negative, whereas you are positive. So when is it proper? The right time is you wait for at least seven days. That is seven days from your ovulation. It therefore means you need to understand your ovulation here. So you need to wait at least seven days from your ovulation, then you run the test. That will show positive. If you run the test after seven days, it shows negative. Please, you need to still wait for your period. Okay, because even on the 21st day, if you're 28 day cycle, that is still not the end of your cycle, right? So wait till the end of your cycle. If you don't see your period, repeat the test. If it's still show negative, and this one goes especially for people who are trying to concede. Please, if it's still show negative, hold on. Don't just give up. Okay. Wait for at least another seven days to repeat the test. Okay. Repeat the test. And if it shows negative, then you probably can confirm now that the test is negative. But you also need to wait for your period. Let me say, is it show negative one week after you missed your period? Then wait for your period. Just wait for your period. Don't just confirm that. Just wait for your period. We have had situations where you maybe you move on to actually say, okay, I will care less because I'm not pregnant. And what happened? At the end, it shows that you are pregnant. Instead, maybe you've taken something, maybe a concoction or you've taken a treatment for something. You went ahead and miscarried the baby. You went ahead and removed the baby. So this is also scary, especially for people who are trying to get pregnant, for people who are struggling to conceive. If you're a lady struggling to conceive, then you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful because you might 
think that you are not pregnant, whereas you are pregnant. I've had situations in which people stay for two months, three months, only to come back after to confirm that they are pregnant. That is really scary if you have been trying to conceive. If you have fertility issues, please, once you've not seen your period, be very careful about what you take. Make sure that you take your leg and you take those things that you know that no matter what it is, it will not cause any trouble to the pregnancy. So this is so vital so that we take the precautions. Once you have intercourse within your fertile window, there are three different things that need to happen. The first thing is fertilization. The first thing is fertilization. The sperm cell will run and meet the egg cell, right? You know, women generally, egg, the egg of a woman is, is behaving like ladies. So women will generally be like, they are slow, they are making us do, they don't want to. So that's how the egg would be there waiting, sitting at the fallopian tube right there waiting. This attitude, this nagging attitude of women, it has been there, like I said in the previous video, the nagging attitude of a woman is biologically understood. So men, you just need to understand with them, that's how they are. This thing has been biologically understood. So we just understand them like that. Women are generally like that, right from the fact that they are being produced from the uh, um, egg, the, the XX chromosome and XX chromosome, that's the X sperm cell is very lazy as well. And it's the same thing, even the egg that will leave the fallopian tube is coming down majestically and without any hurry. It is the sperm cell that will struggle and try to climb up the fallopian tube. This is so, so, it is not good eh? People need to change. <laughs> Ladies, you need to really change. So you see the sponsor struggling to meet the exit. The exit is there waiting. If you don't come, that's all. The exit will depreciate and you menstruate. No pregnancy. So you see that the nagging attitude, the slow attitude of a woman has been there right from birth. It's something that is, it's been there. So as men, please just understand with these ladies when they are nagging, when they are slow, just understand. That's why I used to say a woman will prepare for five hours to attend a party that is just even 30 minutes. But she has been preparing since one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. The party time is maybe 5.30. She goes to party and comes back at six o'clock but she was preparing for five hours. That is, that is a woman. And it's the same thing for pregnancy. The egg will be released and the sperm will have to swim, swim, struggling, struggling, struggling to meet the egg. The egg will be there holding the hands and waiting with all the pencil, the lips, whatsoever makeup, waiting for the egg for the sperm cell to come. So that's the first stage. The, the sperm cell struggling to meet the egg. That's the first stage. The next stage is actually the fertilization. So when it meets the egg, there is fertilization. That is, there have to be bonding, acceptance. It's just like a man meeting a woman, um, hi, excuse me, please, I am this, uh, can we have a talk? The woman need to accept. It's the same thing for fertilization, eh? Because even if you meet that egg and you are not compatible, the fertilization will not occur. So it's the same thing for fertilization. For fertilization to occur, you also need some sort of a discussion with the egg. So the sperm is discussing with the egg and seeing that are we compatible? Um, I like the way you like my ways, and you see at the end if they are compatible, the egg, will, the sperm will burst and get into the egg, and with that fertilization occurs. And once fertilization occurs, the next thing is that 
you have an implantation. I am trying to bring this to the normal thing so that you understand what's going on in the room. Welcome, Auntie V. Thank you so much for coming. So you see that the stages for you to get pregnant, the, the stages for, for you to get pregnant is actually the same like a man approaching a woman, maybe right up to marriage. It's the same scenario. You have a sperm cell struggling to come and meet the egg cell. The egg cell is just there sitting and waiting. The egg will never, it will never move. It will be there waiting. Because if you don't come, there will be menstruation. You know what I'm saying? Mm? There will be menstruation. Thank you so much, Antiti. So after that, it will be some sort of a discussion, just like you're talking to a lady. Mm. I am this, I like your this, whatsoever. And both of you agree, right? And that is when you have compatibility of the sponsor and the egg cell. Then after that, you have fertilization, actually the fertilization proper, where the sperm will penetrate the egg and fertilization of course. From there, it's like when the lady has accepted the man, isn't it, wants to accept him, and now you need to maybe uh, visit his home, or he visits you. So the visiting now is the implantation. Thank you so much, Auntie V. Thank you so much. May God bless you. The visiting now is the implantation where the egg needs to leave now the fallopian tube and comes down into the womb, that is the uterus. So for the egg to leave and come down, you must have agreed, it's just like you agreeing with whosoever is maybe trying to let you into a relationship or get into a relationship. Once you agree, the next thing is you both can maybe visit each other, you go to his home or he visits you. So it's the same thing. Once fertilization has occurred, you now have the fertilized egg coming down to implant itself into the womb. So it is coming at hey, come on, we are together so we can now see, we can now discuss. So it implants itself into the womb now for pregnancy to grow. And that implantation, you can take it as what, even marriage, you can take it that, okay, no, it's just like marriage, maybe you accept it, so you are planning for your traditional marriage or whatsoever marriage, and people are coming together as a family. So the, the fertilized egg now comes down into the womb and implants itself into that womb, which is like the marriage now between you, the man and the woman. So it implants itself and then it grows now for up to nine months, and you have one handsome, dark-looking, fresh African boy here. Welcome, Sister Ngum. Welcome, Sister Uchi. How are you doing, Sister Uchi? Okay. Eh, Mr. Uchi, welcome, welcome. I don't know if it's Madame Uchi using the phone or you're the one. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. So that is actually what happened. That is actually what happened for actually fertilization to occur and implantation. So there are Three major steps. The first one is the sperm need to struggle, right? Just like you, us men, who struggle to meet a woman and will talk to the lady, how are you? I like whatsoever, and I am this whatsoever. At the end, the woman needs to agree with you. The woman agrees with you. And when the woman agrees with you, what happens next? Maybe you visit each other, isn't it? You go to his home and he also visits you. So it's the same thing that happens for fertilization. If you have if you have intercourse during your fertile window, what happens is that the egg is there waiting. The egg will not shift, be there. Women, always on the same spot. So the sperm will struggle and meet the egg. And once it happens, there'll be some sort of a discussion and understanding, understanding and response. After that fertilization occurs in which the sperm will burst and get into the egg and once fertilization occurs now, the next thing is that it has to implant. So the fertilized egg comes down into the womb, that is the uterus, and implants itself there. Once that implantation occurs, that is pregnancy and it starts growing and that is it. Okay, Mr. Uche, thank you so much, thank you so much. So from there, what next is that if you do a pregnancy test after implantation, we expect it to be 
to be positive. Although after fertilization, we also expect it to be positive, but we expect that you should wait after implantation. Implantation, of course, between day 10 right up to day 14. Sorry, from around day seven, day eight, right up to day 12. So if you have an implantation, if you have an implantation, it therefore means the fertilized egg has seeped into your womb and now it's ready to grow. So once it happens like that, if you do a pregnancy test after that, and that is around the end of your cycle, that is why the best thing for you to do is to wait, okay? Wait until you miss your period. Then you go for a pregnancy test. It is not good to go for your pregnancy test when you've not missed your period yet. Wait. If you saw your period on the 1st of June, just wait for another first to come. And if you don't see it on the first, wait maybe for people who don't know their cycle, eh? because if you know your cycle, you actually wait for the right number of days. Because some people, they might, oh, come on, I don't know if I'm 28, I'm 30, I'm 35. Because if you are 35, you saw it on the first, you will be waiting after maybe the fifth of July before you can miss your period. So please, always wait. Wait to miss your period before you actually do the test. Once you miss your period and you do the test, then it's okay for you to move ahead. Because if you do the test after that and it shows negative, then you are likely negative. There is about 60 to 70% chance that you are negative. But there is also a percentage that you could be positive. There is still a percentage that you could be positive. First, is the SCG hormone that is being measured. There is something we need to understand here. Please, during pregnancy testing, when you do your, your strip test, it's not like they are doing a test to see the baby that is the baby. Okay, when you do your test, your strip test, even in your homes, you take your urine and you dip the, the test. That test is telling you that there is a chemical that is positive. That chemical signifies the presence of a baby. That is the meaning of that test. <laughs> that test, the best result to give out is to tell someone that the HCG hormone is positive. Not even pregnancy test. Pregnancy test is the interpretation of the HCG hormone by your healthcare provider. So if I interpret it as positive, I may have discussed with you, right? I may have discussed with you, and I understand that really this should be a, a, a positive pregnancy test. Because at times, you could still have a positive pregnancy test, but you are negative, really. I don't know if any lady has heard about that or oh, you've had it before. You can still have a positive pregnancy test, but you are negative. That is why you can also have a negative pregnancy test, but you are positive. So once you do it, and after your period, it shows negative, what should you do? Please, if you are a lady who has been trying to conceive, don't give up when, you're, when you've not seen your period. Don't give up. And in some situations, even if you saw the period, don't still give up. Because what you call period may not be period. We made a video here. Um, please, you can check it out. That you can be bleeding. You can see bleeding, but you're pregnant. And that's called implantation bleeding. And that implantation... For those who have followed that, my story, I said implantation is like when you have accepted with a lady, when you meet a lady, you talk with her, both of you agree, you love each other, you have affection for each other, so you can visit. So implantation is like a visiting or the marriage, maybe traditional or church, church marriage where you come together. So that implantation where the baby sits in the womb. So when the baby is trying to attach itself, borrow itself into that womb, there could be some sort of light bleeding. And that bleeding is just like maybe a day or two. 
it doesn't mean you are not pregnant. That bleeding is like just a day or two. So if you have such bleeding, it doesn't mean you are not pregnant, please. It doesn't mean you are not pregnant. That's why I would say, if you're trying to conceive and maybe in your mind, you're very sure that what, what you did this month, pregnancy will come, but you saw maybe blood and there was no pregnancy because you've done it, there's no pregnancy, it's negative. Please don't give up. Avoid taking anything that can cause maybe miscarriage whatsoever. Avoid taking drugs without prescription. Wait until the next cycle. And you repeat that test after a week. And you repeat that test after a week. <laughs> that is if it is negative and you have been trying to conceive. Repeat the test after a week. Wait, please. Do not take something that may disturb the child. Because we are saying that they could be you could be pregnant. In a case where you've done your pregnancy test and it shows positive, whereas maybe that, that test is negative. Like I said, it is possible that you may have a false positive test. It is possible. You can do your, your test, you carry out the test and it shows positive, whereas that test is negative. It is possible. We all need to take this into consideration. The reason why you could have a false positive test, the very first reason why you could have a false, false, positive, false positive test for pregnancy is your strip. What you are using, it could be wrong. That strip may have an issue. Maybe it, it might have expired. So we have to be careful here. The first is your strip. It might have expired. Second is the specimen you're using. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful with the specimen you're using. So... Um, in the hospital, it's possible that we could mix something, right? <laughs> it's possible that we could mix out something, maybe some other person's face mean It's possible. It's possible. We are just humans, and it's possible that I could take your spin on some of this expression. It's possible. So we have to be careful with the specimen. The specimen is either a urine, anything you give in the hospital or laboratory to be for laboratory tests to be carried out, that is a space. So it is possible. Now, the third thing, which is something you can do at home, is drugs. You could be on a drug. You could be on a drug that stimulates this hormone we are talking about. Remember, I just said, when you do this test, it is not like you are they are pointing at a common, this is the baby. No, this test is to test a chemical that's in you. And that chemical signifies that you are pregnant, that you have a child, that you have a baby. That's the significance. So you might have taken some drugs that contain this chemical. And if you take a drug that contains this chemical, your ACG pregnancy test will show positive. It doesn't mean you're pregnant, please. Please. That is why I even encourage that don't do this test at home, even though we know it's a test that any person can do. Don't do it at home, especially if you need a baby. Please, if you think that you are pregnant, visit the nearest clinic and run your test. Please. Please. You could maybe have heart attack at home just because you are Sister Ochi, welcome. Thank you so much. You could maybe have heart attack at home just because you're trying to do a pregnancy test at home. Whereas you are even pregnant. Okay. You could be pregnant and you're thinking, oh, you've done it and it's negative. And you are like, oh, oh, the world has come to an end whereas you're pregnant. So please, advise you, go to any nearest clinic, run the test so that questions will be asked and interpretation will be given as to even why that test is negative. Place is very important. So avoid doing it at home. Avoid doing it at home. So you see that these are the three steps. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you so much. These are the three major steps for you to get pregnant. So the first thing is 
having intercourse within your fertile window. The next is the sperm cell meeting the egg cell. The sperm cell will have to move in a speedy manner to meet the egg cell. The, her majesty. His majesty have to move to meet her majesty, the egg. The egg cell will stay there waiting for his majesty. <laughs> These women, people can do us. So by the time the, the sperm cell move to meet Her Majesty the egg and fertilization of course, the next thing is implantation. And once implantation occurs, that is your baby. It start growing. It start growing, and from there it moves, and you start seeing your tummy. Your tummy start increasing, and that's all. So you're pregnant. But if you do a test and it shows that it is negative, please don't just give up. Repeat that test again after a week. Okay. Thank you so much, Sister Uchi, and we wish you the same. So you wait for another seven or oh, seven days, that's one week, and you repeat that test. If it's still shown negative, please don't still give up if you're trying to conceive. Avoid taking things that may disturb that child and will repeat the test. So, like we said, you could have a negative test because of the ACG hormone. That hormone may be down, that may not be enough for your strip to pick at that time. That is why we say you should make sure that if you do a test, try to repeat the test because the hormone may be too down for that strip to pick. And the strip is showing negative whether you are positive. So it's good to always hold on and you repeat it again. And we say you can have a false positive test for a false reason is that it could be a mixed sample. You could have maybe an issue with the sample. Maybe even at home, you want to use the container where maybe maybe some other person has pee in the container without embracing, you just take and you pee in it to do your pregnancy test. Like there was a situation there was a situation, somebody told me that her pregnancy test was positive. I said, okay, um, can you just come, let's confirm at, uh, in the clinic. When she came, when she came, we did that test, that test was negative. She started crying. I said, no, come on, why crying? It, she was actually pregnant, but at that time it was negative. But now why did she even have positive at home? That's the question. You know the reason? She pee in the toilet pot. <laughs> Ladies, what can be funny? She, she pee in the toilet pot and dip the, the, the strip in the toilet pot. She did not even flush that toilet. It shows that some other person pee in the toilet first, and then she came and added her urine there. So we have two urine, and probably the other urine was from a pregnant woman, and maybe it was even somebody who was about five months, maybe six months pregnant, and that's how the ACG woman, they were really high, and she pee in that pot. Now this other lady came, pee in the pot without even uh, flushing the toilet, and then dip the pregnancy strip, strip in the toilet pot. <laughs> Behold, it was positive, <laughs> positive for another person, not for her. So, actually, she was pregnant, but the pregnancy test was not positive at that time. Her shows positive things. It was a misdiagnosis. She used a complete doubt of complete different specimen. For you to do a pregnancy test, you need a clean, dry container. The container should be clean. It should be dry. Don't pee on the surface and then you put a strip there. No, don't do that. If you want to do it at home, it should be clean, dry container. Then you do a test. If it's negative, you, you still visit the hospital if you're positive for it to be confirmed. So we just need to, to be careful as ladies as to what we do. Because at times, we might be maybe uh, too excited and we go out around doing something that is even wrong because of 
the fact that we are too excited. So I will just walk here to, to say, if you have a question, please, you ask a question. <laughs> if no questions, I will be doing a round of today's discussion. Sister Vienna, Vienna's beauty. May God bless you, sis. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. You know, when you see super chat like that, super, super chat that really scares these days. So if you see super chat, you have to really appreciate. Thank you so much for your super chat, sis. May God bless you. Sister Uchi. Sister Uchi. I don't know if it's Uchi or it's Uchi, but it should be Uchi, right? I don't know, sis. Is it Uchi or Uchi? Because I know there is Uche here. Uche is different. But there is one sister, Uchi or Uche. Why, uh, Mr. Uche, Mr. Uche, I know you're here. Mr. Uche, welcome, welcome. Uh, salon, Madame Rumi. Please, if you have a question, you ask a question. Sister Ngom, welcome. I don't know. Sister Ngom, is there a question for us? Please, if you have a question, please, you ask. And welcome to you. Uh, Melodist, probably, probably you, you're the one that even started my life. I think, I think you're not around. Thank you so much. And TV, the way it started, this is my magic. This is so, so beautiful. With this super chat like this, this is the real beginning of a month. This month will be wonderful. Maybe I'll just reach my limit this month. Make everybody just super chat me like that man, every day. So if there is a question, please, if there is a question, please, uh, you can ask. If not, I will be doing a roundup to our discussion. Okay, certainly no question, no question. Okay, so we have been discussing when is it right for you to do a pregnancy test and why you might have a positive pregnancy test but you are not pregnant or a negative pregnancy test but you are pregnant. So we said the right time for you to do a pregnancy test, the best time please is for you to miss your period then you do a test. If you do a test and it shows negative, Please don't give up. Hold on and you repeat that test. Okay. Hold on and repeat that test after a week. If you do a test and it shows positive, then you can visit the hospital for confirmation as well. Because you can still have a false negative or a false positive test. You can have a test that shows negative, whereas you're positive. You can have a test that shows positive, whereas you're negative. So it is important for you to make sure that you do the right steps such that whatsoever test you're doing, you should have the right results. Now, we should understand that pregnancy, actually we have three major steps involved. And I am likening it to, I am likening pregnancy to the normal relationship that you, as a man, you meet a lady for relationship to occur. And after that, you have both of you agreeing and then you visit each other. And I said for ladies, we take ladies will be the excel. The excel is always there. It will sit majestically waiting for us to come and we do the approach. That's maybe that is even why you need a man to approach a woman, not a woman approaching men. Even though nowadays women can approach others, no problem. Eh? Marriage is hard nowadays. So we have these three major step. One is the approach. That is the sponsor struggling to meet the excel. So we have the sponsor struggling, moving up the fallopian tube to meet the excel. Once the sponsor meets the excel, that is like you meeting a lady and saying, hello, how are you? Can we talk? That is the sponsor struggling, meet the excel. Then now there is some sort of chemistry for uh, compatibility of these two, the sperm and the egg. So the compatibility of these two will cause the two to fuse and fertilization occur. So once the fuse is like you, the lady, accepting his proposal, right? You are accepting him. That is, you love what he's saying and 
you start maybe discussing whether it's WhatsApp or whatever, and both of you agreeing. So once you agree, there is fertilization. So fertilization occurs, it means that both of you are dating at that time. Once fertilization occurs, the next step for the fertilized egg now is implantation into the womb. So there is implantation, that is the fertilized egg now comes and implants itself into the womb. So this is like marriage, just like people are dating already now, you put a date for marriage. The date for marriage might be maybe four months time, three months time, one year from when you first started dating, isn't it? So it depends on each other. So for the egg cell and the sperm cell, once they fertilize, there is implantation of that fertilized egg cell into the womb. And that fertilization, that implantation, I call it, it could be marriage, it could be whatsoever between you, the man, and the woman. And once that occurs, you're pregnant, and if you do a pregnancy test, once you miss your period, we are sure that you will show positive. And if you show negative, please don't give up, repeat that test after a week or so, because you can actually have a false positive test or a false negative test. You can have a false positive test, why? If you, have, you can have a false positive test, a false pregnancy positive test, if your strip has an issue, if, you're using the wrong spacement. If uh, you have taken drugs that maybe contain these hormones that you are testing for. So we need to be careful that if you do a pregnancy test and it shows positive, maybe it could be false positive. So we have to be careful. You can also do a pregnancy test and it shows negative. Why? It can show, for, it can show negative whether you are positive. Reason being that it can be because maybe the hormone level is not enough, right? Maybe the hormone level is not really enough for that test to actually pick these hormones. So it is important that you do it shows negative. Please always wait for some time. Okay, wait for some time such that you have this build up. Wait for at least a week, then you repeat your test. I hope it will be pregnant. Then. So that is it for the roundup. If not question, then I will be cutting out the show just to appreciate everyone who has been here. Appreciate all those who will be watching. That if you will be watching, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check your health and maintain your world. Please share us to your other platforms Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp as well. Recommend our channel to your family, to your friends. And please, you can WhatsApp us if you have a uh, specific health information, health worries. You can WhatsApp us on 00237-666-006107. 00237-666-006107. This is exclusively health. So you can WhatsApp us, let us discuss the end. We can see how we can answer your questions, your health questions. So thank you so, so much for tuning uh, Sister Viana, thank you so much. Brother Uche, thank you so much. Sister Uche, thank you so much. Um, uh, Melodies, thank you so much. And there was other Sister Angum, thank you so much for being here. And there was some other person. Okay. Um, Sister Anita, thank you so, so much for being here. So I really do appreciate everyone. May, may the God Almighty bless you. May the God Almighty guide and protect you. May the God Almighty Share the right path to follow. May the God Almighty give you the right motivation during these difficult times. We understand things are really tough everywhere, especially for those of us online trying to maybe build one or two things. So two things. So may God actually give you that calmness, give you that focus that you should focus no matter what. You will actually see what you are looking for. Thank you so much. Do have a wonderful day. May God bless you all.